we'll see how easy it is to current ramp ignition coils on a Toyota RAV4. You'll see in the screen I pulled a wiring diagram for the ignition system. I identified the injector fuse, which just happens to power all the ignition coils. The fuse box gives us easy access to the power supply without much harm or damage to the wiring harness of the vehicle. Let's go over there and make our connections. So I'm here at the fuse box. I removed the fuse box cover and I simply use the factory fuse identifier locator. I found the ignition fuse. It's a little 10 amp fuse over here in the corner. I removed the fuse, but I installed it in my little fuse jumper wire here. So I put my fuse jumper wire back across that 10 amp circuit, like so. I'm protected, but I also have easy access with my current probe. I'll attach my current probe right here. I've already got it turned on. And this will allow me to current ramp everything on this circuit. All right, folks, I've got my current probe ready to go. I've chosen coil number three to use as my sink for the waveform. It'll also allow me to analyze the IGT from the PCM. I've noticed from the wiring diagram, I did a connector view here. The center pin, pin number two, the pink wire, is my IGT from the PCM. I'm using a piercing back probe here, which I should be able to slide right underneath this weather pack. There you go. I stick it in, I can kind of feel it dig on something, something rigid there, so I should have a decent connection to my pen. Now we'll crank up the lab scope and see if we can ascertain the waveform of the current ramps and also the IGT of number three. All right, folks, I got my scope running live. The top channel in blue is the IGT or ignition trigger from the ECM to number three ignition coil. That's a digital signal to command the ignition module to fire that coil. Knowing the firing order of this engine, 1342, I can identify all the four of the current ramps parading across the screen. Now what I'll do, just because we can, let's do something here. I'll stop the, the live action. With Pico, I can actually move my zero line down here and I'll put my voltage on top of my current. And I want you to appreciate just how precise the ECM commands the coil. You can see exactly when the PCM turns the coil on. You see the current ramp flow and precisely when the PCM shuts the coil off. Notice the rapid um, deterioration or the, uh, the turn off of the ignition coil. Now remember when you current probe at the fuse box, you current probe everything on that fuse. So not only do I have all the ignition coils on there, but you remember that was, uh, that was injector fuse. And when you current ramp the injector fuse, you'll also get you'll also get my fuel injectors. Now the ignition coils are pulling about 10 amps, and these little guys here are pulling about one amp. Very easy to attach the current probe at the fuse box. Easy installation. Even a car like this, it was super easy. Think about how useful this would be working on a car that's very complex, like a V6 engine with a, you know, engine cover hiding it or a V8 that you can't even get to the back of the coils. Hopefully that'll show you just how easy it is to current ramp ignition coils at the fuse box. Thanks, and join us again for more tech tips.